Thomas Muller is one of a kind. What he does on the pitch looks so simple, but it's ingenious. The perfect run with the perfect timing. Muller does this all the time. It doesn't matter whether he scores himself or provides the assist. He is one of the most successful players there has ever been, and yet no fan really has him on their radar as a superstar. Maybe because his dribbles don't look like Lionel Messi's. Maybe because you never know for sure whether it's just luck or skill. Andere Dinge haben mit Glück zu tun, wobei immer Glück ist können. Mm -hmm. At first glance, his game looks unspectacular. His style, how he works, is not visible for human. It's only when you take a closer look that you appreciate his unique abilities. Müller is a World Cup winner, two-time Champions League victor and nine-time Bundesliga champion. No German player has won so many trophies, played so many Champions League games and assisted so many Bundesliga goals. Like no one else, he is always in the right place at the right time. In Germany, he's known as the Raumdeuter. In English, base interpreter. So what is a Raumdeuter and why is Müller one of the most underrated players in the world? Let's take a look. <laughs> there is simply no one like Müller in the football world. A rare one-club man, he has been wearing the Bayern Munich jersey for 21 years. And there's one thing he's always had in his DNA, identifying open spaces, even when they're not yet visible to most. Muller always knows, unlike some of his opponents, where to move and where the ball will end up. What makes him special is he is, um, one could say, like two steps ahead of his opponents. In the summer of 2020, Muller explained to the foreign press exactly what his Raumdeuter position means. My biggest quality is maybe the game without ball. To get in the right space uh, to the right time, maybe is uh, the space interpreter. In classic Muller style, he coined the Raumdeuter word himself. Some players, especially Thomas Muller, they have this uh, sense for um, spaces, this special chill awareness uh, on the field. They recognize their surroundings pretty well. They read the game. Ishmael Tari and Statsbomb analyze football matches around the world and advise top clubs such as Liverpool and AC Milan. They've recorded, analyzed and visualized thousands of Thomas Muller's passes, shots and runs. Here you can see all of Muller's passes which led to a shot under Hansi Flick. In this example from a match against Bremen, you can see that Muller has moved out wide in order to create a chance for his teammates. So Thomas Muller, what he does is basically often uh, moves to the wide range and creates uh, spaces and like players like Nabi, they exploit them. Muller, who's actually playing as a central midfielder, slides into space on the right, which opens up room for Gnabry in the middle. Looking at the match footage, Muller's movement and eventual cross doesn't result in a goal. But a similar move saw Muller and Gnabry combine for a goal in that same match. It's one reason why Muller has made more assists than anyone else in Bundesliga history. He has notched up 163 in Germany, more than assist king Ryan Giggs in the Premier League or Italian maestro Francesco Totti. Only Lionel Messi has assisted more. Muller burst onto the scene at just 19 under his mentor Louis van Gaal in 2009. He was brought in to complement a team of established stars. In this time we had uh, big playmakers with uh, Bastian Schweinsteiger in the middle uh, and uh, our famous Robbery, Ribery and Robin on the wings. They had a lot of the time the ball in their feet. They needed a player to attack the spaces, then, then they can use their, their quality in dribbling or in passing. He made an immediate impact as a creative force. But Muller also stands out in front of goal. Why? Because his awareness allows him to pick the perfect moment to take a shot. His shot selection is represented here by different colours. Red means a high-scoring chance, 
Blue represents a lower chance. So what we see here is he is positioned very well. He takes very few shots, so his uh, expected goals per shot is world class. Although he takes uh, very few shots, like um, the conversion rate of these shots is pretty high. So he's like uh, one of the best players in the world in terms of goal conversion. Is very good. Muller doesn't need to take a lot of shots to score a goal like other players. He's extremely effective. He's often in a position where statistically he can be the most dangerous. It sounds pretty simple, but it's not something that comes naturally to every player. I think schon, uh dass einige Dinge intuitiv passieren und dass ich das einfach ganz gut kann, dass ich vielleicht vorher schon sehe, wo ein Ball hinkommen könnte und wo die Räume sind. Das andere ist Spielvorbereitung, sage ich mal. Da habe ich ein gutes Beispiel. Das mein letztes Tor bei der WM mache ich ein Abstaubertor. Da schießt der Bastian Schweinsteiger, glaube ich, aus 30 Metern. Und während er schießt, laufe ich schon durch, weil wir vorher noch besprochen hatten, dass der Torwart auch mal einen Ball fallen lässt. Also das ist eine Mischung aus allem. Thomas Müller is the Roundeuter, but are there others who have similar skills? Marcel Sabitzer from RB Leipzig, perhaps? Or Jose Callejon from Fiorentina? Maybe Deli Ali from Tottenham? In any case, none of them cover the Roundeuter role as good as Müller. When you look at these pictures, you definitely don't think of a football superstar. But Müller has been playing consistently at the highest level for more than 11 years, and he's won almost every trophy there is to win in the game. He's also remained fairly grounded. Some players would have capitalized on the Round Deuter brand through marketing ploys. But the boy from a small Bavarian town is still playing football simply for the love of the game. His stamina is like tremendous. Uh, he works a lot for 90 minutes, 90 plus. And this belongs as well to his playing style, which is often forgotten. This is what is known as a player radar. It records the 10 most important key figures for any footballer. For example, the average goal probability per shot. The blue area shows an average player in the top five leagues. Red is Thomas Muller. In eight out of 10 values, he is above average. And in these five areas, he's performing at the top international level. So, world class. Hardly any other player in the world has such a broad range of qualities. not only uh, good or very good in terms of um, offensive uh, abilities, but also his defensive style. He um, plays against the ball a lot, like his pressure regains are very high, and this makes him special. Looking at the data, one thing is very clear. The combination of his strengths makes Muller unique and one of the most effective players in football, and he's been doing it for years. But not everyone has appreciated Muller's skill set. In the summer of 2019, Bayern coach Niko Kovac wanted to build his team around Philippe Coutinho, who arrived on loan from Barcelona. Muller became a squad player. The gamble didn't end well. After an embarrassing 5-1 defeat to Eintracht Frankfurt, Kovac was sacked. Successor Hansi Flick immediately brought Muller back into the fold. At the end of the season, Coutinho returned to Barcelona as Muller starred in Bayern's treble winning season. Muller was also underestimated in the Germany national team. In 2019, coach Joachim Löw wanted a fresh start and called time on Muller's international career. His love affair with Germany was cut short. I was natürlich von der plötzlichen Entscheidung des Bundestrainers auch perplex. Since then, Germany have fallen from one embarrassing defeat to the next. Und in diesem Sinne möchte ich euch sagen, das Spiel ist noch nicht aus. In some ways, it may have helped Muller. He's gone from strength to strength and has continued to develop his game. He used to focus purely on attack, terrorizing defenders, mainly from the right. Here we can see that under Flick, Muller drops deeper and spreads across both wings and tracks back in defense to help his team win back possession. He's also one of the loudest on the pitch. Yeah! As he attempts to fire up his teammates. After all his records, titles and big game performances, he is far from content. His motivation remains just as strong. Das muss unsere Aufgabe sein und unsere Pflicht und da sind wir ja natürlich in der Mannschaft, wenn da einer locker lässt, dann wird er äh, wieder in die Spur gebracht und das wird auch gut angenommen. Um, 
really excited to see him one day maybe as a coach because like he has a uh, special mentality to lead on the pitch and now with this uh, with the games without um, fans uh, we see um, his impact um, as a leader uh, as a director on the pitch even better so what do you think where does Thomas Muller rate among the superstars of football and is he still the most underrated player in the world